Tim in Amsterdam writes, he says, Paul, I keep wondering about how DSD is converted to PCM. Is the DSD signal just sampled or is the DSD interpreted as a sine wave and then gets sampled? Well, oh, I wish I were a little bit better. No, let me rephrase that. I wish I was a lot better at mathematics. <laughs> I'm not. You know, for those of you that watch my videos and know me, you know that I am really proud and really good at designing solid state electronics. I could stand up with the best of them, designing amplifiers and circuits and figuring out how to do this and that. Digital, I am still learning. I mean, surely I have the fundamentals down, but when I, my, my mentor on DSD is Richard Murison from BitPerfect. Richard and Tim are the programmers that have built BitPerfect and all of the stuff. And Richard knows more about sigma delta modulators and converters than anybody I have ever met. Uh, and Andreas Koch is one who is very experienced, but Andreas and I don't talk a lot. Richard uh, gives so freely of his time and knows I'm not very math savvy. And I'm just not. And, you know, I never was. I, I don't think I ever made it past algebra. And even then I was tutored because it just never, I don't know. I think it's beautiful. I love math, but I am not very good at it and will openly admit it. And thank God for calculators. I've got the, one of the more powerful calculators on the planet on my iPhone. <laughs> it does exponents. It figures out any kind of formulas I need to look up, you know. Um, and even better than that, I can just Google it, right? There you go. Okay, so I'm gonna give you my limited understanding of the process because if Richard were here, he would do his very best to explain to you in terms you probably wouldn't understand any better than I did how this all works. But in essence, okay, if we have a DSD file and we want to turn it into a PCM file, it's technically very simple under a couple of conditions. Number one, if it's a multiple of a DSD sample rate, then it's pretty easy. And if it's not a multiple of a DSD sample rate, it gets a lot more complicated and won't sound as good. So let me explain. When we look at DSD standards, there's DSD 64, 128, 256, 512, right? These are all multiples of 44.1 kilohertz or CD, right? So and uh, I, just a, a day or two ago, I was explaining the, the exact same thing. Um, 64 FS, single rate DSD, is, is running at 2.8 megahertz. And that is 64 times 44,100, okay? Which is the sample rate of CD. Now, pro audio, for whatever crazy reason, runs at 48 kilohertz, and there we're gonna get 48 kilohertz, that's where you get 96 kilohertz, 192. Multiples of 44.1 are 88.2, 176, 352, right? So those are multiples uh, of, a, of a base frequency, which is this 44.1 kilohertz, which is CD quality. As long as you remain in that, which is what DSD, standards were set at as multiples of CD, it's really simple. For example, even a doorknob like me can figure out if I need to go from 44.1 to 88.2, do the math, times two. That's real simple, right? And in a computer, it's just, you know, for every one sample, do two. And all of a sudden, and, and do it at a, at a faster rate and twice the rate, because guess what? <laughs> With 44.1, you, you have in one second, you have this much, right? Well, that second is always stable. 
So now you want to get twice as much in there. Well, if you can't move our frame because it's still one second long, what do you got to do? How do you get twice, in, uh, twice the information into a single size frame? You double the frequency, right? So for every one, I'm going to do two to squeeze that in. Whoop! I got to do faster. Okay. Easy peasy simple. Even a dunder like me can figure that math out. And the same is true going backwards. So when we want to go from a simple multiple like 64FS and go back to PCM, what we have to do is run it through a low pass filter. Okay, now we do this digitally, but it's the same idea. In, in fact, don't even need to use a low pass, a digital low pass filter. I'm going to deviate for one second just in the hopes that maybe this will help you get it. In our PS Audio Direct Stream DAC, we upsample everything to high resolution PCM and then we take that and convert that through a, an SDM, a Sigma Delta modulator, which is some very complicated math, into DSD. And at the output of Direct Stream, we run it through a simple analog low pass filter, which means we just cut off anything above a certain point, which is say 30 kilohertz. We just eliminate it. That's all that, that noise up there where the DSD has this noise. They shift it up to a higher frequency, but there's still a lot of switching noise, right? Running at that 2.8 megahertz or the 5.6 or whatever you're running at. So we just have to get rid of that noise, which has nothing to do with the signal. We don't want that. It's unwanted noise. So we're going to get rid of that, and we do that with a simple low-pass analog filter. What comes out is pure analog. That's what's great about DSD, is all you have to do to convert it to analog is just low-pass filter it. Well, the same is true digitally, right? So all we have to do is do a digital low-pass filter to eliminate all that crap, and then how we get from 1 bit to 16 bits, that's some magic done in the computer that I don't quite get. I, I do know it's, as Richard said, trivial <laughs> and has no effect on the sound if you do it right with a, with a proper filter. And that's why it's so important. It's a, so at Octave Records, we record everything in DSD because it is by far so much better than any other capture method. It just sounds amazing. And I know a lot of people argue with me about this because they haven't heard it, right? And a lot of people don't have resolving enough systems to hear it. The average studio, now I'm not talking Abbey Road here, but the average mid to high end studio doesn't really have great audiophile standard monitoring systems. They have what suits them and they don't hear all of this. Well, we don't at Octave Records we have one of the highest resolving monitoring systems in the world made from PS Audio speakers and electronics, which is what we've been doing for 50 years, right? So we hear the difference, and you would too. If you walked through the door, I played it for you, there'd be no question. So DSD is the way to capture it. But then if you decimate it, if you put it through a low pass filter, convert it to PCM, there's very little loss. Go the other way, record in PCM, you've already lost the information from the live microphones and now going to DSD does you no good. So one way it works, the other way it does not work. So, all right, I've rambled long enough. <laughs> Hope that helped. Okay, thanks for the question. Take it easy. Bye. Thank you.